Not that long ago, people made all of their food from uh, scratch. It was from ingredients that they kept on hand, and they made everything fresh every day. You know, that was a real comfort food. There wasn't uh, pre-made foods in the store, and fast food places just didn't exist. The next time you're in the grocery store, take a look at a loaf of bread, and look at the ingredients on there. Do you know what those ingredients are? And how long are some of those words? If you make your own bread, you know what those ingredients are and what you're putting in there. And they're very simple ingredients. They don't sound like something, well, that you would find maybe in a, a can of paint remover. <laughs>
Now add one quarter cup of brown sugar. You could use honey if you would like. Now this is really going to make the yeast happy as it loves sugar. Next add one quarter cup of powdered non-fat milk. Add one cup of vital wheat gluten. Add one half cup of wheat bran. Add two cups of whole wheat flour. At this point you can start mixing the dough. This is where you're going to get your workout and you may want to think about canceling your gym membership. These ingredients are the food that yeast loves. They make the yeast start working and this is the process that is important to making the bread turn out light and fluffy. One cup of white whole wheat flour. This is a flour I told you about. White whole wheat flour is the same as whole wheat. I know this sounds like an oxymoron. However, it's the same as whole wheat flour and it's milled from hard white spring wheat as opposed to hard red wheat. Now add two teaspoons of kosher salt, one quarter cup of extra light olive oil. This olive oil doesn't have any flavor so it won't affect the taste of your bread. A good trick is to heat your board. You can place it in the oven, set at 170 degrees, and heat it for 10 minutes. Now you don't want to cook the board, just get it a little warm. After mixing the dough, you can turn it out onto a well-floured board. If you've ever watched Seinfeld, the TV series, there was an episode where George went away for the weekend with a group of friends. George went swimming and a lady saw him changing his clothes. He had to explain to everyone the water was very cold and he had shrinkage. So you don't want to go to all the trouble of getting your dough warm and then turn it out onto a cold surface where it'll have shrinkage. You want the dough to be nice and warm and relaxed. This is important to the yeast so it can do its job. Once you start kneading the dough, you can start adding the white whole wheat flour. Add one half cup at a time. I'm going to try to add two and a half cups of white whole wheat flour. I'll let you know how much I was able to add. You can see how I knead the dough, pushing it and then folding it over. It becomes easier the more I knead the dough. At a certain point, you may not want to cancel your gym membership. This is the way we need our dough. This is the way we need our dough. This is the way we need our dough so early in the morning. I needed the dough for just under 20 minutes. I am noticing that one of my arms is much larger than the other one. I wasn't able to get all of the white whole wheat flour added to the dough. I had one quarter cup of flour left. One quarter cup plus or minus is fine. It will not affect the outcome of your bread. Form the dough into a ball. Set it aside. Now take a large bowl. Use some extra light olive oil. Spread it around with a paper towel. Place the dough in the bowl and coat the top of the dough with olive oil. Place the dough in a warm draft free space. I set the dough on top of my stove. However, if your stove has pilot lights that are always on, this may not be a safe place to place the dough. Another good spot is on top of the fridge. Let the dough rise. It'll take about an hour. It could be sooner or longer depending on where you placed it, so check it often. If you watch real close, now watch. You have to be patient. You have to look close. Poof! The dough has risen. I would say this is a dough miracle. You can see that when I poke my finger in the dough, it wants to collapse back onto its own self. This tells me that the dough has risen enough. I turn the dough out onto a well-floured board. I reheated the board so it's nice and warm, making a place where the dough will want to stretch out, keeping the yeast working, making those important bubbles. I divided the dough into half, placed one half back into the bowl. You can see the nice bubbles that the yeast has made. It did a great job. Now I guess it'll want to raise. With the other half, I kneaded a little and formed the dough in the shape of a loaf pan. Coat the loaf pan with extra light olive oil. Place the pan 
back in your warm, draft-free place. Do the same with the second half of dough. Now allow it to rise. It should take about an hour. It could be sooner or longer. It's been about one hour, so watch real close. You have to look. Now look close. Poof! The loaves have risen. I would say this is a real bread miracle. Uncover the loaves and place them in the oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees. Bake for 35 minutes or until the bread is baked. Remove the loaves from the oven and take out of the pans and place on a cooling rack. Allow the bread to cool for three hours before slicing. I know it's hard to wait three hours with the smell of fresh baked bread in the house. I slice the bread using a bread slicer. This helps in keeping the slices a uniform size. Put the loaves in jumbo zipper bags. You can freeze one loaf. This bread freezes very well. Or you could give one to your neighbor and tell them that you baked this bread and that it's good for you and it, that it tastes great. You can see this batch of bread came out perfect. Light, fluffy, and golden brown. You can butter a slice of fresh bread and watch it disappear right before your eyes. So there you have it. Now you know how to make 100% whole wheat bread that comes out light and fluffy and it tastes great. I hope you'll try to make some soon. Remember what they say, you are what you eat, so eat healthy. Until next time, I'm the Big Easy Chef.